Hello, uh, my name is Tom Buckley. I am a senior learning technologist here at the University of the West of England, more specifically the Faculty of Health and Applied Sciences. Uh, I want to talk quickly today about something that's quite exciting um, and not just quite exciting for nerds like me, it's quite exciting for uh, an industry as a whole. Um, throughout my career I've been working uh, sometimes specifically with and sometimes tangentially with ePortfolio systems and mainly in the main that's been uh, with in, within the healthcare context. Now we have always struggled a little bit to replicate the ease of which uh, paper portfolios are filled in by people, uh, especially when you throw in the amount of user administration for everyone to have an account to really have a valid signing off of competences or workplace based assessment systems. Now a lot of that is reliant on good admin which no one really has if we're honest. <laughs> And um, uh, a lot of it is also kind of hindered by a work context where certain industries or, or certain individuals will have different login accounts for about 15, 10, 5 ePortfolio systems. Be it a doctor that has foundation, specialty and other ePortfolio systems or a nurse that has ePortfolio systems from three different universities for the training that they're delivering. Um, what I want to talk to you today is something that uh, is going to make the electronic system a bit more akin to the system that's out there at the minute and ways we can possibly think about getting around how that reduces the amount of um, security in the sign off. Um, OK, so the system we're talking about is Pebblepad version 3. I think it's version 3. There's been a couple of rollouts recently, but I still think it's nominally version 3 at the minute plus the app Pebble Pocket. <clears throat> so uh, the, more specifically the Pebble Pocket app looks like this when you log in and within the area recording experience there is something there called competency. Um, this is a generic form and Pebble Pad are really agreeable to designing new forms to go there for a price. Um, so if you think about that being a generic work, workplace based assessment form like a case based discussion or an OSATS or something like that depending on your specialty what you will do is click on that and uh, you'll get to a form uh, which you fill in whatever the title of the competency is or whatever whatever constituent of the form there are. This is the generic ones, you've got event date, you've got a description and you've got um, quite an odd competency level dialog boxes. But the snazzy bit of this and the bit that I'm re even bothering to make this video about is once you've started to fill in everything and you get to this bit at the bottom you have an assessor's signature. So a colleague here Russell has put in uh, his name and by just simply selecting sign this you can put in a digital signature so the person signing it off doesn't really have to have an account on the system. It can be done in situ and because it's done on Pebble Pocket, the app, it means that actually it can be done offline. So it's something that's installed on your iPhone or your Android device. You are sat in a uh, education centre somewhere, you haven't got any Wi-Fi. You can fill in the form, get someone to sign it. At this point they can lock the form so the person can sign the form press save and lock so the form end form looks like this uh, and uh, it will sit on your device until you've got some wi-fi and you send it to your portfolio to be collated with all your other evidence now that workflow of uh, handing something over someone signing it off is akin to what would have happened in practice beforehand if you think about the alternative that um, different systems we've had to have, uh, when I was at the RCOG, we used to have to have a paper-based logbook where people still got signed off, um, and then that got logged on the electronic system, so you have a hybrid system. Or what we kind of have to do with PebblePad now, which is uh, have someone sat on the same computer, fill in the form, someone saves it, someone else logs out, instructor logs in, signs it off, and logs back out, and then you can continue doing what you're doing. And all the time there's emails flying around here uh, and what have you. So this was, reflects the ease of what we have in practice now. However, it does also um, add the, the problems which are in practice now, which is if you sign something off, you don't know whose signature it is. 
Uh, you don't know, especially here, you can't validate that signature that well because it's done by finger on a phone. Um, so how do we get around that? Well, there's a couple of ideas. Um, firstly and foremostly, you uh, use, have a device that uses a stylus so you can get a more accurate sig signature. A uh, few ideas we've had around the office are things such as um, you have your NHS number to add to it or you have another uni unique identifier to add to it, such as a PIN number, or, and this is one of mine and I don't think it will fly really, you use the app, uh, the form to take a picture of you in situ with the student at the time. So you have uh, a kind of selfie signature. Uh, a bit odd, I know, but um, I don't think it would work too badly actually. Um, so there it is. The new sign-off system on Pebble Pocket allows you to, to replicate offline signatures, uh, lock the form, and push it up to your ePortfolio. Uh, I think it's going to be fantastic, but I will be really keen on the comments below to hear what everyone else thinks if and when they stumble upon this video.